Hello, my name is Chintan, and today in this video, we are learning how to model the Universiate Sports Center. Now, this was modeled by GMP Architects and is located in China. So, let's take a look at how we can model this form inside of SketchUp. Let's go. Okay, so open on the meters template and then go to draw, then shapes, and then click on polygon and then type 20 on your keyboard to change the number of sides right here to 20 after that click and drag and hold down control key once and then type a radius of 50 meters and then press enter like this after that scale this by 1.5 so that we have a ellipse shape now press F on the keyboard and offset this by 15 meters like this. Then press L on the keyboard and draw line segments like this. Like this. Now from this midpoint draw a line for 30 meters. And then join it like this. So that we have a triangle shape. Now we need to do this for all these sides as well. So click and see that when it says perpendicular to edge or the lines turn pink, then you draw or rather type the 30 meters as an input value. So type 30 and then make the triangle like this. Similarly for this, click, type 30 and then similarly for all these. So basically what we are doing is we are making a sort of flat paper shape that would eventually give us a form that we are looking. So basically the structure is sort of uh, origami shaped that's where so you can consider this like a flat paper. So we are only drawing or modeling the one fourth one fourth and so we'll mirror the rest simply join these lines like this now from this point draw another line for 15 meters like this and then simply repeat the whole process so 15 meters again now similarly for this one have this shape simply make small triangles inside of this like this now if you get the whole idea you can like fast forward this part of the video so once you have the shape select this and move it up in the blue direction you can lock the axis by pressing the up arrow key and then move it up by 30 meters like this and then simply select these surfaces and hit delete now we have a shape like this now simply select these lines so you can hold down control to add to your selection only like this and then move it up in the blue axis by 25 meters like this then select these lines and move it up by 15 meters like this so once you have the shape turn on the vertex tool so I have shift plus V for that and then simply select these let's set the soft section radius to zero first and then select these and then move them 
up by 9 meters like this now deselect these points so to deselect you can hold down control and shift together and now we have these points selected so move them up by 6 meters and we have a shape like this so now go to top view turn on parallel projection I have control plus one for top view and tilde key for parallel projection so simply select this whole thing make a copy of it using the move tool along with the control key and then simply right click on this and flip it along the red axis and then move it from this point to this point now let's mirror it down so make a copy of it like this flip along the green axis this time and move it from this point to this point and now we have a shape like this <coughs> so as you can see this is very flat so to give it a curve shape we can simply turn on the vertex tool and change the soft selection radius to 100 and then simply select these two points and then move it up by 9 meters like this and then select these two points and move it down by 6 meters and now you can see we have our shape so now select everything and we can give it some thickness using the joint push pull tool so I have shift plus P for that so make sure you have con2 set up and you have this generate as group turned on so what that does is it creates a separate group of the extrusion that we do so basically so like if we extrude it but I will let's say one meter and click outside so we have these two groups so this is like a whole group if we hide it we still have the surface left now similarly select this whole surface underneath and we would need to subdivide it so let's bring on the artisan plugin so if since you can see it clearly let's turn on the hidden geometry and if we click on this button that says subdivide selection and click it once you can see it subdivides the whole whole mesh into various smaller surfaces so if we click on it again it will subdivide it further and you can see this whole area of the surface is subdivided now with that we can close this and use the joint push pull again but this time we would turn it into a grid and let's give it a thickness of 3 meters click outside like this then select everything and bring on the profile builder so that we can create some solid profiles along these lines so simply let's change it to 0.2 meters and click on this and say yes now once we have this we can simply press delete so that it deletes rests of the surface so to see clearly we can turn off the profiles so that it handles better and simply delete this surface that we had and now we have a metal structure sort of a thing and a form on top of it now in actual building scenarios a very detailed BIM model would be created but we are sort of creating a form that we can quickly generate to show multiple ideas along uh, de design developmental phase so this is the purpose here that we are learning how to model these forms so now what we have left is just make a shape so simply click on this line uh, and make a circle from its midpoint like this uh, let's change the number of sides to let's say 64 
so that it creates a smooth circle then delete this and scale it till this point and move it uh, to the origin like this and we can group it like this now we can simply edit the group <coughs> Let's draw uh, some seating. So point three, and let's say point nine, and let's simply copy it across like this, and type twenty x, and make a line like this, and close it here. and simply follow it along the whole circle like this now you can simply make turn it into a group like this and we have our whole shape also to make it look realistic we can simply copy a soccer field and place it in the middle like this and also give it some color so that it becomes more visible so let's give this whole area a dark gray color and this also a dark gray color and if we turn off the guides and turn on the shadows so this is how you model a form of a stadium inside of SketchUp so I hope you learned something new in this video and if you did please consider subscribing and I would see you in the next one till then keep creating bye.